four dangers with silver stacking. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Today I'm going to discuss the four dangers with silver stacking. Yeah, usually I try to keep my points to a nice dense three, but there's so much to share, you get a bonus one today. <laughs> and this video is primarily for the new stackers, but if you are a seasoned stacker and you've been following my channel for a while, I have a special opportunity at the end that applies to you too. So stick with me through this video. Also, I want to start out with one of my favorite quotes from Mark Twain. It's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. I want to say amen to that. <laughs> I've seen this firsthand many times. And yes, even with myself too. I'm not above learning. I really value your comments that you leave down there. So please, you know, teach me. I'm never too old to learn. <laughs> and yes, if, if you could like and sub, I really appreciate that too. So the first danger with stacking silver, expecting to get rich quick. I keep getting emails and comments that just, it, it boils down to this. We gonna be rich soon, Yankee. <laughs> I just did a video on that topic not too long ago. Uh, in, in many ways, uh, nominally speaking, it's not true. Too many people are just playing a game of, you know, silver and gold is going to make me rich. And I can understand that. It's, it's human nature, all right, for the, for, for, for the masses to just run after the crowd, to, to chase the hot hand. I mean, if you've, if you've ever been to a casino, you know the mentality I'm talking about. People have always, always been vulnerable to get rich quick schemes, including the stock market. <laughs> that's a casino now, folks. It wasn't always that way. But, all right, for that, that, that's for another Yankee video. <laughs> no, I am talking about those who pump silver and gold to some degree too as a way to make bank. All right. I'm not one of those people. I'm not a pumper. I'm going to tell you straight stuff that a lot of people don't want to hear. All right. And one of them is that this stuff is not the road to riches. Okay. I, I constantly tell people that specifically physical silver and gold, it's just, it's not an investment or at least not in the traditional sense of the word. So that's the first danger. Don't get into this stuff thinking it's going to make you rich quick. It just isn't. <laughs> it's a no-brainer for, you know, preserving your existing wealth. You got to stack, okay? But no, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. That's number one. Number two, don't stack high-premium silver. And yeah, that even means to avoid purchasing poured silver as part of your stacking strategy. Don't do it. And yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I have my Yankee round. Look at that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's poured silver. It's beautiful. It's fun. I love it. But guys, this isn't stacking or it shouldn't be considered stacking silver. No. It's a fun way to, you know, support the channels that you love to watch, okay? It's a great way to, you know, collect some really cool silver art, but it's not stacking. I've told people that. I've encouraged people not to buy my channel rounds. I have another, you know, maybe another um, uh, run that's coming hopefully soon. I'd love to be able to, you know, have people buy my channel round, but... That's not stacking, okay? Especially you new stackers out there. You should be focused more on your, your core strategy first. If you don't have a core strategy, you should get one, okay? Uh, you should do that first before you spend a lot of money on poured art. At least that's my opinion. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments below. 
that's fine. I value every respectful opinion you put down there. So again, just just skip the high premium silver for your stack. Um, it, are there exceptions to that rule? Well, yeah. If you're a, a well-off, uh, you know, if you're well-off financially or uh, you've been uh, stacking uh, for a while, you have a very large base for your silver stack, then by all means, have some fun. You, know, you can even get some semi-numismatic silver. It's all your money. Have fun with it. Do what you want, but be careful with the bulk of what you buy. So that's number two. Number three, the third danger. It's constantly wanting to exchange your stack. Don't do that. I've gotten so many emails from people saying, Yankee, I know you like gold. Uh, Should I switch my silver to gold? No, no, I don't do that. All right. Stick with what you have. Don't walk into an LCS and say, I've got a bunch of silver I want to buy, use to, to get gold. You'll lose a cut that that LCS dealer will take every time you do that. Buy some gold. Yeah, obviously, buy silver. Keep your silver. Don't, don't try to keep exchanging it. Now, if you're, you're playing the, the, the uh, GSR, the gold to silver ratio, yeah, you can be strategic here. You can try to you know, exchange at the right time. But remember, that isn't a risk-free strategy. You'll still lose a little in the exchange. And the availability of your target metal, whether it's you know silver or gold, that's still a factor. And you need to account for that. So be very careful when you want one metal and then you want another. Just buy what's available buy your silver and gold don't don't exchange it much it's just not a wise move and the fourth one the last one it's primarily for the preppers out there i'm a prepper stacker but i'm also a prepper myself and i have to say i do feel a little vindicated over the past few months um i'm not happy okay i'm not happy people need masks or, or or seeing food shortages I'm a patriot. I I mourn the fact that we're starting to need our preps. But I'm going to tell you right now, silver and gold are not, not the first things you should be prepping or at least being prepared for. So hear me out. The first thing is you need to reduce your consumer credit card debt if you haven't especially the revolving debt, get rid of that. Stock up on food first. You know, ensure you have a, uh, an alternative water supply, an alternative electrical supply, an alternative heating supply, especially those up north and during certain cold times of the year. Ensure you've got good shelter, good protection. These are far more important to have in place as your prep before this stuff. All right. Very important. Now, I know I threw a lot at you, but I hope these few tips will, you know, just help you avoid some of the dangers in stacking, especially stacking silver, and to stack wisely. And and finally, the opportunity I mentioned earlier. If you're wondering what would Yankee do with uh, you know, specific precious metals purchases or, or, or in other uh, investment areas, or even with prepping. A membership in my channel might be of interest to you. One level, the Yankee Cannon, provides direct access to what I do, specifically with gold and silver, and other investments too, and my prepping as well. I'll share snapshots of my financial portfolio with you. How I invest my hard-earned money with uh, mining stocks, private mortgage lending, and other areas. Now, this is not paid professional advice, okay? This is, this is a hypothetical, what would Yankee do if I happen to be in your shoes? You still need to do your own research and make your own financial decisions. But if that does interest you, consider a membership in my channel. 
But regardless of what you do uh, or not do with a membership, thank you for watching my channel and this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. And most of all, I hope your day is a-okay.